Hey guys, Rusty here at Blue Robotics with a new product update. Today we've got a payload skid for the Blue RLV2 and enclosure mounting clamps for the 3 inch and 4 inch series enclosures to go with it. When we designed the Blue RLV2, we wanted to make it compact enough to be transportable, yet powerful and large enough to expand upon. There are plenty of ways to mount things to the frame, uh, but sometimes you just need more space. Particularly with subsea sensors ranging from hydrophones to multi-beam sonars, they're large and heavy and difficult to integrate on a small ROV. The new payload skid makes it provides the space and mounting options to make that much easier. The Blue ROV2 with its T200 thrusters has the thrust needed to handle the extra size and weight. I'll describe the features of the payload skid starting with the frame. Like the Blue ROV2, the payload skid frame is made of HDPE plastic, which is neutrally buoyant and uh, incredibly rugged. The frame bolts together with stainless steel screws and aluminum standoffs, and four aluminum clips at the top make it easy to install and remove from the ROV. The payload skid is a blank canvas for you to configure and rig as you'd like. That said, we've got some standard options that make it easy to get started. On the bottom of the payload skid are mounting holes for blue ROV2 ballast weights that can be moved around, reconfigured, you can change the number of them based on, on what you have attached to the payload skid at the time. Up on top are mounting holes for the new enclosure clamps. There's space for up to three three-inch enclosures or a single four-inch enclosure on the payload skid. Uh, those enclosures could hold extra batteries, auxiliary cameras, or just about anything you'd like to add. If the, if the mounting holes aren't what you need, the HDP is easy to machine and you can add your own. Let's move on to the enclosure clamps. These two-part clamps are made from hard anodized aluminum with a rubber pad to cushion the enclosure. The two halves are identical, but they screw together to gently but securely hold the enclosures. Four M4 mounting holes on the side make it easy to attach to the payload skid or elsewhere. Both the payload skid and the clamps are available now, and we're really excited to see what you integrate on your Blue RLV2. That's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more new products later this month.